You're not allowed to have tank tops. They have to have shoulders on them, whatever that means. I mean, you have shirts that have sleeves. They can't have any logos on it. It has to be like a polo. It can't have no logos. Oh. Or not. Because it's also a place for people with addiction problems. I'm on the side. However, if I was in the UK, I could have my phone on me inside of the fucking facility. Oh, that world. Mm. I searched it up. UK allows you to have your phone on certain times of the day. You're allowed to do whatever you want on your phone. There you can connect to the outside world. Because I don't want it to be like a prison. Debatable. This is a few things I don't understand. Like, I've never had that issue before where I couldn't, like, this is a few things I don't understand. Like, I've never had that issue before where I couldn't, like, wear leggings or... Uh, hopefully everything will be okay eventually. But, I don't know. Do we have any incense to light? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're out. No, we're not out. Yeah. I can get one out. But that lady, she was the operator, and she transferred me over to talk to someone for a mental health assessment, and then came back and said, well, nobody's available. We'll call back later. Like, what the fuck? Like, y'all said y'all were available 24-7. Why not now? Let me ask what you got to do with your pets. The pets are going to stay with me. I'm not going anywhere. I got to figure out how I'm even going to get there and get back. Because I know if the cops take me, it's a 72-hour hold, no matter what. Well, they usually end up sending to our whole anyway population. That's uh, minimal. And see, I don't know how long I would be in there with all the issues that I'm having and everything. And well, I wish there was like a therapist that could come to your home, you know, that my, that our insurance could afford. Like, even if it's like a $10 co-payment or something, you know, like, because that's what it says. If I go to an actual place, it's going to be $10. Teledoc is on Thursday. I tried to see if there's an earlier time, but now she's booked up until next Sunday. But there's a lot of people with mental issues. Mm. And I'm not sure if it's a therapist or a psychiatrist because it has both of them check marked. I've never used Teledoc before, so I don't know how everything's going to go. And I'm trying to hang in there till Thursday, but it's just getting to the point that I can't think. Like, my brain's foggy. I'm constantly feeling like I just should be sleeping all the time or eating all the time now. Hey. Man, what's that with the skull pants? They're huh? not actually leggings. They have elastic in them. Yeah, but there's no string there. Back to me. Or they'll throw them away. Because they, they can be used as um, a hanging mechanism or some shit. I don't know. Well, they did that just by any means. I don't know why I can't just wear leggings, but I guess it's because of the elastic in them, too. 
But all pants that I wear I mean, have like have have elastic. Even sweatpants have strings on them. You can't have those. They'll take the strings out. Man, as long as it's you don't it shouldn't be an issue. And the only shoes that you're allowed to have is like these ones down here, That's as long nice. as they don't have any logos or anything that could be offensive. So I guess that one's gonna be offensive? And you can only have ankle socks in there. You can't have socks that go up on your legs. I mean, uh, I mean surely you And you're not allowed to bring your wallet on campus or your phone on campus. So what do I do about insurance, identification, and like GPS back home? What, they don't have personal storage? Apparently not. Now, MUSC does, but they said it's not their responsibility if anything gets lost in their storage or gets mixed up with other people. I mean, I'd say if, if you have But the way that they're describing this behavioral center makes me think of a prison or a jail. Well... I'd say if you come in there where anything that they feel is inappropriate or goes against their dress code or whatever. They won't give you clothes. You'll have to wear a hospital gown. Okay, usually they give you something anyway. Nope. Not for me. They never have my, anything for me. Last time that happened to me was in like Our Lady of Peace or something. And I had to wear a hospital gown my whole stay with my ass hanging out. Because they said that there was nothing my size. And lost and found. And that's been years ago. That's why I don't trust going there. Unless I have the stuff that I know I'm allowed to wear. And then my only other option is MUSC. But that's like six miles away. There's no way I'm getting home. Because that's all the way downtown by Marion Square Park, and you cannot walk here from there or walk there from here. Because it takes three days. Actually, Eileen makes a good point. You have dresses. Can't wear them. Why? Wow. My dresses are tank tops, and dresses aren't allowed. You have to have your bottoms completely covered and legs covered. But gowns are okay. Hospital gowns, apparently. Their gowns. And if I'm in there, I'm going to have to request for my own room. I don't want to be with nobody else. Because I refuse to share a room with someone who's going to try to talk to me. Bitch, don't talk to me. I don't know you. Because I'm prone to fighting people when I'm in behavioral hospitals. Especially if I have a roommate. Like the like the one in um, Fort Pierce, I almost got in fight with the lady I was rooming with that didn't even have but one leg. She was African American and um, I mentioned I was autistic at one of the meetings and she said, well, I don't like autistic people. They're stupid. And apparently, according to the staff, she's lived there her whole life because she doesn't want to be in society. Some people are just going into society. Okay, well, I've lived the entire life. They can't provide people clothes. Especially someone like me. I have to have stretchy clothes. Stuff with elastic and leggings is pretty much the only thing that I can wear. That fits over my butt. You're not allowed to have shorts. 
and biking shorts is definitely not allowed. I made a post about what you can and can't have, but it really doesn't make sense. Like, it seems like they're describing it like a gel, and it just doesn't make sense that I can't bring my wallet there. Like, I don't understand why not. No, they said leggings aren't allowed, shorts aren't allowed, um, tank tops aren't allowed, bras with any wiring not allowed, underwear with any wiring or lacing not allowed. You can't have tennis shoes, nothing with strings, can't bring your phone, can't bring your wallet, but yet they want you to have $5 cash on you for some fucked up reason. Like, it doesn't make sense to me because I feel like they would need my wallet for my insurance information and my identification. I don't fit in jeans, so jeans would be out there. I don't even think they let you wear jeans because of the zipper and the buttons on them you can hurt yourself with. I think it has to be like sweatpants without the elastic and strings or some shit. I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I never thought about clothing as, you know, something to unalive yourself with, to be honest. I kind of feel like clothing's a necessity when you go to these places, like, no matter what clothing you wear. I mean, to be honest, anything can be used for a weapon. Mm. Anything. And then matter. I don't understand what they mean by toiletries in the original packaging or something. Like, I can't even bring my hairbrush unless it's in a package or something that it came in when I bought it. It says no shorts. Well, I probably wouldn't even be bringing shampoo because I'm out pretty much. If I had the money, I would freaking, you know, buy some stuff before going. Because, you know, I don't even have socks, so... Like, this is the strictest place I've fucking ever heard of, and but it's the closest place to me. And I don't even think they have phones there, because I don't know, you know... I don't know my husband's number, so I wouldn't know how to contact him if they did have a phone. So I'd just be stuck in there not talking to anyone outside in the real world. I just know I need a hairbrush and a comb or else I'm going to come out looking like a bum. Because my, my hairbrush already broke a few times and has super glue anyway, but my hair is so thick combs don't work. And for, it's called Palmetto Behavioral Health Center. Like, I just don't want to go because of how strict it is, and I feel like I would have no communication with the real world. Like, I just feel like I would be in jail at that point. And that's what I hate about these places. Like, I feel like I would literally go crazy there. I've, I've been in some that aren't that bad. I just don't have a good memory. I know my number, but... I don't know his. And in the UK, they let you have your phone. Like, while you're in the thing. I can understand not having my cell phone, like, while I'm there, but at least taking it for when I get out, you know? 
That way I can call someone to either come and get me or I can use GPS to figure out how the fuck I'm going to get home. And then, um, I, I don't understand the wallet. Most places you can take your wallet because they're going to need your health insurance information. Nope, I'm not allowed to bring any, like, outside papers or anything in there either. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that at all. <laughs> I've been in, um, places before. You're not allowed to, like, have anybody write a number down and have it in there with you. Because other people can get it and use it. I am in South Carolina. I just, I'm in a gown right now. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to even wear to go there. I don't think we're allowed to wear dresses there. It's too, um... Too much exposure, so to speak. Because I'm probably going to be around both men and women being an adult floor. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk on the floor either, which I really don't care for, but... Does my husband want me to go? I don't know. I was born to be happy. I just feel like I'm at my pushing point. A person in the to seek mental health in a mental hospital to get past all this, and I, but I'm all supportive of her. Hello. I mean, I don't even know what clothes I have to go through and see if any of them are safe. I'll put them in the door, man. Can you bring them here when you get a chance? I've already called them. No, I don't have an appointment with one until Thursday. Um, before I can voluntarily leave. Are they pants? If, if any of them's leggings, then it's a no go. Well, I mean, these are leggings. I can't have them. Well, I mean, goddamn. I mean, they won't let me have them because they're leggings. I don't really see why that would make a difference. They said that you want me to go so you can talk to Ashley. Oh, good grief! I thought that Ashley with her here. But you don't talk to her in that way. Good grief! I need to come off of it. I mean, seriously, people. I'm not interested in being with Ashley. God damn. What is wrong with this fucking world? And then this has elastic in it right here. 
that they can, they'll probably take out. I don't know if they would let me have this. And it has skulls on it, so they may consider it satanic. Just for the record. Trust me, skulls. Because you're not allowed to have any satanic stuff. It can only be like gospel stuff. Skulls are not satanic. Skulls can be. I don't fit in scrubs, unfortunately. We've tried that in the past. Those can literally be used in all different cultures. So it's I don't know if they'll let me have these. Like, if they th- will they throw them away if I can't wear them? Really not. There's a black pair right over there. I haven't either, but this is a different state. I'm used to Kentucky. Florida wasn't even this strict. And also, they'll probably wash my clothes, and I hope they don't use, like, Aner Gall. Aner, Aner, mm-hmm. can Jane. you help me? Jane. Or Gall. What is it called? Gall? Oh. Yeah, that. I don't know what jogging pants are. I mean, those can be considered jogging pants. You have elastic in them, they may not let me wear them. The, what is these? That's why I don't get because your pants are either elastic. These are leggings, I can't have them. That makes no sense. This has a logo on it, so I don't know if they'll let me have it. Rascal Flats. Is it's still a, a logo, it could be offensive to someone because it's country. If that offends somebody, then. Ashley's in here now. The person they said that you were cheating on me with. The person who also claims to know her in real life. Well, I've already needed that person anyway. Both of them? I needed one. You're now allowed to have leggings at the Behavior Health Center. I've made a post about what you can and can't have. If they have my size, I mean, they're not going to go out and buy you stuff that just fits you. They'll just make you stay in your room or something. Um, it's called, um, Palmetto Behavioral, um, Health Center or something like that over by, um, the Riverview Park. It's like 3.4 miles from me. I'm not chipper about it. I'm just supportive. There's a difference. But the, the another thing is that I can't, like, certain clothes make me itch. And they got to understand I'm autistic, so, like, certain things bug me. I am in South Carolina. I'm in North Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know how long I'll be in there. I guess however long I need to be in there to, like, get everything situated. Yeah, all the diagnoses that I need, talk to whoever I need, and if I need medicine, I need medicine. Like, I don't know if they allow visits or not. I know growing up I was allowed to have visits when I was in a place, but I don't know about being as an adult. Exactly, Eileen. So for... Those of you saying that I seem chipper or whatnot, it's not that I'm chipper about it or happy about it. I'm just supporting her in whatever she needs to do to get her mental health in order for her to actually be able to live her life the happiest she can live. Now, it. this is my breast cancer shirt. I don't. They may let me keep it, but I don't know if that would be triggering to anyone. Because you have to think about the other people that's in there, too. Even though I'm probably not even going to associate with anyone. 
So I got one pair of pants and two shirts. You have to have three outfits, they said. Um, is that all the clothes that I have? Well, I'm sure there's more in there. I'll go back and look again in a minute. Am I allowed to have tampons? Because those have strings. Because I, I know, know in gel they don't let you have them. And at one point they wouldn't even let me have pads in gel. I had to free bleed everywhere in a little green suit. And they kept bitching at me for getting blood everywhere when it was their fault. That's gel for you. The same gel. Can we see if I have any other clothes? Because I can't wear one pair of pants my whole stay. Possibly. I'd have to call the cops to come and take me there though, which is embarrassing as fuck. Don't, don't be embarrassed about it. A lot of people need mental help. Some people just can't manage it on their own and need the extra help, and that's okay. No, I don't know how long I'll be there. Can I get a pump? Yeah. I need to see if I have any more clothes. I'm not going to. And if I have any ankle socks. Can I say that? I'm taking my wallet whether they like it or not. Um, going to the ER, they would just transport you anyway. That's only for like emergency emergencies. Normally here you have to call the cops and then they come out and then they call a mental health person to come out and then they transport you by like ambulance or cop car or something. I think it's called like a mental health counselor or something, mobile crisis unit or yeah, something. Yeah, mobile crisis unit is what they call it. That's what they had my head at one time. But I need to have pants and stuff on. I, I can't know. just... Give me a minute. I have to pee. I'll be right back. Go ahead. I got this. And do we have my Kepler bottle? It's empty, but like, do we still have oh, it somewhere? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen it. If we have it, it's probably in a drawer somewhere. Honey, I'll, I'll, honey, I'll take care of them. Don't worry about it. I will take care of them. They don't need to be found homes. I've got them. So we'll be back in a minute, guys. I've been doing that for almost 10 years. I've been in mental hospitals myself. I know what it's like.
Thank you. I don't know, I don't know how this man hospital is. Did you ever find my purpose? Yeah, I brought it to you. It, um, I laid it down, oh, it's right over here. Honestly, I don't know. Those aren't sweatpants. Or sleeping pants. Yeah, but if they have a hole or any pockets, I can't have them. If they have a hole in the front, I can't have them, babe. Oh my fucking god. Those are for men. Do I need to leave my food stamp card with you? Clothes, that's the problem. You have more clothes than me. So I'm buying some shirts that you can wear. Yeah. Here's a shirt. My insurance cards are in here. And here's the long sleeve. They'll probably let you wear that. The shit, anyway. Mm -hmm. As far as pants are concerned, I mean. I'm not a long sleeve because you can tie it around your neck.
I mean, I guess I can wear leggings when they pick me up, at least. And whatever shirt, because I don't have a lot. They'll just confiscate it. I gotta put pants on, so I need to. I'm trying to make room. There's no room. Lilith is hogging the table. She's under it. Be careful. She's done hit her head three times. She's under there shaking. No, don't get on the floor. Something stuck to me. Shirt on. Will it fit me? Yes, sure. No, it's normal. Yeah. I'm trying to get What? Thank you. 
Do you think I'm allowed to have Q-tips or no? I don't know. Body wash. Oh no. Or should I just take soap that's from in here? Do I have a bag or anything? I gotta make sure there's like nothing in here that they're gonna. So they check everything. So for those kids not coming in, she is considering admitting herself into a mental hospital because her mental health is declining severely. The reason why a lot of comments are not being answered or muted are because they are rude comments. Thank you. Hey. So if you go and get to your questions. Are you going to be okay? Honey, I will be fine. You do what you need to do. You focus on your mental health, not anything else. <laughs> Don't worry about what's going on here at home. I've got the dogs taken care of, I've got the pets, I've got work, I'm good. You're going to be able to pay the bills? Honey, I, I, will, how long I will take care of it. You just need to worry about getting your mental health under control to where you're not, you know, suffering so much. I hate seeing you like this. I wish I knew where my frickin'... Do we have any of the hospital paperwork? Um, 
when I was in Fort Pierce. I don't know if they'll need it. Uh, she'll be over here and they can go over here if we still have it. They probably won't need to begin with because they can pull up your records later. And, they'll probably and get, I guess write your number down like and, everyone is saying. And what they'll do, they'll probably give you a, a brand new psyche now to see what they have to work with. What's that? Oh, that's for... DMV. From the end of charge. I don't even know my own damn number. I know it's California, but. Well, this is what you feel is best, and this is what you do. I tried cleaning, I've tried gaming, I've tried everything. You know, some things you just don't have to help with, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's really nothing wrong with it. Everybody needs the extra help here now. Okay. Mm. I don't even know if I'm allowed to have books or anything to keep my mind preoccupied. They might have books there, you never know. I don't know because I've never been to any of these hospital places. Am I allowed to have pictures in there with me or anything? Huh? Like a picture of my son or anything? Honey, I don't know. Some places don't allow that kind of stuff. I don't know. I have not been in a mental hospital since probably 2011, so I don't know what they allow me to do. I'm gonna write down my ultimate number two. Don't lose the food stamp card. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. I got both my numbers. Can I put that as you? Yes. Like put husband on it? Yes. With your name? Yes. Let we're going to be it. going through my stuff, so. Let me see it. If I can spell my own damn name already, it'd be great. Can I have some water? You need to get Yeah, I can have Sorry. You're fine, don't worry about it. Don't apologize. I can get it for you tonight. Alright, there's...
talking about it all day and since last night I will try my best to keep everybody updated as much as possible I'm like shaking my heart's pounding this ain't our first rodeo she has been in a hospital before So it's in our first video. I guess just tell them I need to be at, that I want to self-admit myself for mental health. Because it's all about self-harm. Come on, stop being slow. I just don't know how I'm gonna get home. I'm sure they can provide that kind of or, thing for you. Or if I'm gonna have visits for you to visit me or anything. Well, we will figure that all out later. I'm stress is still out of it right now. Still got to order. Food and stuff for the animals. Honey, no. I will get everything taken care of. Let me feel alive. I'm still alive. What the hell? Oh, I'm not going to turn my logs on this one. That's why it's not going to work me. I'm glad I'm going to go. 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 I went and put my dad on from the load up. Stop saying TikTok is not responding.
HR 61. Someone just knocked. No, it's coming from next door. What are you doing? Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Yes. Oh. English. And for the people saying that kindness is free, I'm used to those comments. I get them all the time. doesn't work, they come back with another account. Mental health crisis. Mental health crisis. Mental health crisis. Mental health crisis.